Once again, thank you everyone for joining. Today, Friday Spotlight feature. The topic of discussion is user management. So myself is Sai Kodali. So today's agenda is introduction. We will look at user registration and about the user roles and access permissions that we have in Artivo Manager. And we will look at how to manage user accounts. So things like resetting password, lock or unlock user account or deleting user accounts. And then we will cover user activity tracking in Artivo Manager. And we will also look at multi-factor authentication, how to configure multi-factor authentication in Artivo Manager. And then at the last, we'll cover our optional modules, which are student portal and then teacher portal. All right. Yeah, introduction. Welcome to the master webinar. So in the introduction, so first of all, so about the user, this webinar will be helpful for you to manage user authentication, authorization and role-based access. Why do you need to manage user accounts? What is the necessity of doing that? So to answer this, because secure user authentication is very important in today's age. And so because with the increase of uh, unauthorized access as cyber threats. So you need to manage, create user accounts uh, for the uh, for the staff, for the students or agents. Uh, and then you allocate for, especially for the staff, whoever is using the Artivo manager for different functionalities like student services team, academic team, or admin, uh, admin or asset main. So you will be allocating role-based access so every uh, user role will have certain access or feature to the features in Artivo Manager, and then they will have certain permissions. And then that's why, so role-based access is very important and then uh, managing user accounts is very important. And then you also, how do you do that? So regularly uh, admin or asset main, uh, you look at uh, user accounts that you have in the Artivo Manager, you monitor those user accounts and then you look at, uh, uh, audit these user accounts and then look at the permissions and then feature access they have. And then depending on the necessity, you make changes to them. If some of the staff members have left the college, you log those user accounts so that they will not be able to log into your college anymore, so on and so forth. Yeah, so to start off with staff user, so the staff user as S admin or admin can go to staff and then add staff. So, and then you can fill all the student or staff personal information, and then you can register the user account with the username and then password. So when we say about the password, so the password need to have a strong password, be at least eight characters in length. It should include an uppercase and lowercase alphabets have at least one numerical digit and a special character. So this way, so the password strength is very important for the user account so that unauthorized user access or anyone can uh, guess the password and then log into the platform using that user account, username. So, so if you have a strong password in place, so this is how you would see when you're, whenever you're creating a staff user account, this pop-up message will show that it should be having eight characters in length. So the people who do not have the strong password format enabled, so you guys can re reach out to mess group support. So we will enable the strong password format on that Artivo manager, all right? So, Moving on to the next slide. So once you create the user, so depending on the user, you will provide a role for the user. It might be a offer or a student services team or a marketing team. So you allocate the user role by taking the check boxes and depending on the user role, that user will have access to certain functionalities or features in the Artivo manager and then we will provide you uh, with an attachment at the end of the session with all the existing user roles and then their access permissions of the RTO manager. As a PDF document, it will be uploaded in the chat. So the people who are interested, then so they can download it and save it in their computers. Okay, 
So on top of the existing uh, user roles and then permissions, so as admin can allow more permissions or give more permissions uh, or uh, activate or deactivate existing permissions for that user role. Also using the uh, setup permissions page. So I'm gonna show it to you how you, you can be able to do it. So just, so, so under here, staff. So for creating the staff user account, you go to add staff and then the admin or the sysadmin will fill all the staff personal information and then you create username and password and then you allocate a role for that staff. So depending on this role, they have uh, access to uh, f different functionalities in the Artiva Manager. So on top of those functionalities, so as admin user, so they can also give more extended permissions or also activate or deactivate the existing role permissions. So in order to do that, so under admin, we go to setup permission. So this setup permission space is only available for S admin access. And then click on the setup permission icon. So there are all different permissions that are available for the staff members. So so you can create a permission role group and then you allocate a permission to a certain role. This is like assigning the permission to a role group. And then once the a permission has been assigned, for example, here, uh, allow to send SMS is a permission. So this permission is assigned to admin staff and student services or roles. So once this permission has been assigned, so whoever uh, is a staff members under the student services, so they can go to uh, add user to the permissions and then you search the student services role. So all the student services role users will appear here. And then you can click on allow to send SMS as a permission. This permission will be assigned to the student services role user. Once you click on assign permission. So this way the student services user will be able to send SMS from the RTO manager to the students. Okay. All right. So next thing is how to manage the user accounts. So for managing the user accounts, you need to go to the users tab and then click on manage user accounts. So there are different search filters available. So you can search the user based on the user role or the username or email ID. And then you do, you can either reset the user account password or if the account is locked, you can unlock it or you can lock the user account or you can delete the user account. So I will quickly show it to you on the Artivo Manager. So you go to the users tab. So in here, manage user account is a page that will open up and then based on the search filters, you can use all user as well. Uh, you can use locked users. Most of the times, if the user do not know the password and then try to enter it more than five times, automatically the user account will be locked. So this is a common scenario we, we will be, uh, the colleges might be facing. So the admin or as admin, you look at the locked users and then they either unlock the user or, or they can reset the password. So by clicking on the little key icon, so this is the username and then you can reset the password for that user automatically. And so this pad like icon here. So if you want to lock it, you can click on lock and that user account will be locked. If the user account is already locked, so this padlock will be open. So it will look as open like this. And then they can click unlock the user account. So automatically that user account will be unlocked and the user can try to log in with the password. And then last thing is for deleting the user. 
So you can click on the delete icon, that user account will be deleted. Okay. So, so next thing is user activity tracking. So the admin, as admin or the IT team can track the user activity in the Artivo manager. So, so they can look at how the users are trying to uh, log in, uh, which users have logged in at a particular time or a particular date range and what kind of activity they're trying to do on the Artivo manager, whether they're trying to fill the student course application or uh, the uh, other, uh, they were trying to uh, do some other feature, uh, uh, trying to do some other work in the Artivo manager. So there are options available to track the user activity. So how do you do that? So you go to the, again, users, I, I, user IP activity tracking. So, and then you would see all the users who have logged into the system and then with an activity category and the date range along with the user IP address. So, so under user, you go to user IP activity tracking. So in here, depending on the user type, you can use filters. There are all user types or you can specify only for the staff. So under the category, you have an application. If someone is trying to fill an application for a student or student is trying to fill it application by student itself, so they can also see uh, the status as an application, or they can see if some of the users are trying to access the system. So they can see the timestamp when they are trying to access the system with along with the user details, what kind of user role that user has in the Artivo manager and then user name, user name and along with the uh, user uh, full name and then their IP address as well from where they're trying to access the Artivo manager and then they can see how you even name as user authentication, either the user access is login success or not. If the user login is not success, you would see the even details comment as login failed. So, so for example, if I show it to you an application category, so the someone, a staff member has tried to fill in applica online application, submit it, with an offer ID 1865 on 30th of August, 2024. So these are the kind of details that you can get using the IP activity tracking. Okay. The next thing is, we will look at multi-factor authentication, which is MFA. Why do you need MFA? So MFA is very important security for managing uh, authentication of the user account, especially this will provide you uh, other various forms of authentication along with the user ID and password. So you can use email as an another added layer of authentication. So once you enable the MFA, so the system will provide them to pro, uh, will ask them to provide their email ID and then they will receive an OTP. So once OTP has been confirmed and then authorized, then only the system will allow you to log into the Artivo manager. So this additional layer of security is very important because we are dealing with student sensitive data and then in order to safeguard any data breaches or unauthorized access to the Artivo manager. So we need to have a MFA in, uh, enforced in the Artivo manager. So we have seen a lot of our clients have not been able to use MFA yet. So I, we would encourage everyone, every Artivo manager, at least uh, uh, configure the MFA, at least for the staff users. So then they can, uh, they can have an, uh, uh, secure user uh, authentication and then authorization in the Artivo manager so they can track which user have logged in and then uh, have whether they have security logged in or not. So to avoid uh, any unauthorized access into the Artivo manager. Okay, so we will look at how can you be able to configure the MFA. So only as admin users can configure the MFA in the Artivo manager. 
so only as admin users can log in and then go to admin configuration tab and then there is a option available as multi-factor authentication so you can enable the multi-factor authentication for certain user role in the system it could be for the staff it could be for the students or agents so depending on the user role you can activate or deactivate the mfa in the system and then the authentication uh, would be through the email so otp will be received to the user email id and then they have to uh, provide that uh, otp when they are trying to log into the system so then only the user uh, details will be authenticated and then they can log into the RTO manager. Okay, so I will quickly show you on the RTO manager. So as I said, only as admin user account, as, as admin user can log go to this MFA feature. So under the setup menu on the right hand side, multi-factor authentication option. So this is how it looks like. So the first is MFA configuration. So it says activate MFA to the system. So currently it is disabled. So if you want to enable or enforce the MFA, so you can apply to different user roles, staff, student, teacher, or agent. And then if you want to choose it only for the staff at the moment, so you click on setup. And then you get a success message. Configuration has been enabled. And then you would see on the right hand side, so with today's date and time, I have enabled the MFA. OTP method would be email. OTP will be received to the user email ID. And then the second option is view enabled MFA users. So you would see you can also provide the MFA for certain user accounts as well. So depend when I try to log in or if any of the staff members, since we have provided configured MFA for the staff login, all the staff members who will be able to try to log in to the Artivo manager. So once they enter the username and password, so the system will prompt them to put the user, uh, user email ID. And then once they put the user email ID, OTP will be received to the uh, email ID and then they have to enter the OTP in order to log into the system. If the OTP is failed, then the system will not allow you to log in. It says the login failed. Okay. So at the last, we're gonna look at when we say users. So there are different kinds of users in the Artivo Manager, the agents, students, and teachers, staff. So uh, if you look at the student users, so the student users can access the Artivo Manager through the student portal. The student portal is an optional module. So it provides the students to view their attendance, fee information, timetables, and results. So this is an optional module, uh, many Artivo managers may have or may not have the student portal. They might not be giving the uh, creating user accounts for the students that do not. So, but there are many advantages of the student portal because uh, automatically for every three months, once the student is trying to log in, so it, it will ask them, the pop-up box will be displayed upon login. So it will ask to update the contact information or personal information like address, current address, or contact details because as per the ASCA requirements, they have to report the student uh, up to details about the current address or the address in, in Australia or the contact details. So this will be very helpful for the student services team. They need not to do follow-ups with the students to send them updated address or the contact information. And then the additional thing is it will have you access to the MEST mobility app. So. So generally today's everyone is preferring an app rather than searching something online. So student can directly download the app and then just log in. So, and then all the information they can see uh, email communications or SMS communication sent to the student. They can directly see as a notification in the app. So once you send any email or SMS, the student can see the notification and then they can see whether that uh, SMR or email communication is related to uh, 
a follow up with them related to the fee information or related to uh, the results or something, so on and so forth. And then they can also see their timetables, classes, and then they can see the fee information in the Mist Mobility app. So this is very important feature. So the people who have who do not have the student portal, so you can re reach out to the, uh, if you are interested, you can reach out to the support team so and we can provide you with all the details. So the second thing is a teacher portal. So teacher can also have access to the Artel manager using the user account and password. You can, once you create as a teacher user account, and then they can log in. And then most important thing is they can record the attendances for the students. So depending on the class timetables you created and assigned to the teacher, so teacher can uh, uh, record the attendances for the students and then they can mark whether it is an absent or present throughout the classes. And then this will be easy for them. So directly record it online uh, in the Artivo Manager uh, so that someone else, some other staff member need not be able to do it because this will be an additional work for the staff members. So the teacher will know when they are teaching the classes, whether the student has come to the class or not. So they can directly record it in that information then and there in the Artivo Manager. So they can also send email or SMS communication to the students. So, and then the other important thing is they will also have uh, access to the reports so they can look at the student's attendance who for the, they can look at the students who have missed the classes continuously for three classes or five, five classes. And then they can see, and then they can uh, follow up with the students of, and then they can also see the assessment for performance. They can also record the assessment marks if you have created assessments. So that is the other things that are available for the kitchen portal. So pretty much we are end of our session for today. So, so this is all I wanted to cover in today's session. If you guys have any questions, I'm happy to take those questions. Okay, thank you, Sai. Everyone, I have posted the three documents that Sai says um, you guys will receive. I posted them onto the chat. Please feel free to download them. And um, Sai, we have a few minutes to take some questions, questions. right? Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to unmute everyone. And please come, please come uh, aloud. Okay, please unmute yourself if you have any questions or you can also still type your questions in the chat and then we'll pick it up from there. Okay. Well, Sai, it looks like we're doing pretty well. Your explanations is very clear and um, our documents are all in place. So if we don't have any further questions, this would be it for our session today. Hey. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sai. Great work.